Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> Lüning, horse Lüning. And this is my son, Dwarf. <laughs> I don't know those names of, of the Game of Thrones. My son, Ben. And today we have a look at the Lagavulin like nine years of age out of the, well, Game of Thrones series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As you're, the you're, hand of the king, I'm quite intrigued <laughs> about the... The upcoming tasting we're going to have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are also really nice tumblers out there. We have the Vala Doheris, all men must serve, and Vala Mogulis, all men must die. And then there's Vala Alcoholis, all men must drink. No. <laughs> Not politically correct. Uh, well, I think, do you murder me? I, you Probably. have not watched the, the, <laughs> no. the show. <laughs> I just watched the Spoilers first. for the fifth season or something like that. <laughs> uh, I've seen the first season. I bought it uncensored. It was a lot of blood and sex and crime and intrigue. And <laughs> this dwarf was very... He wasn't a nice guy. Very unfriendly. <laughs> ah. He was unfriendly. He was like the nicest guy around. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the in the uh, commencing of the series, uh, well, you're right. Uh, <laughs> so he is one of the protagonists of of the whole series, yes, isn't it's, he? Yeah, he is. He's uh, spoiler. He is still alive. <laughs> But I think most of you have seen the fifth or fourth. I don't know when it's going to come out. But And this I, is I've for the eighth. For the eighth season, yeah. but uh, it's it's currently running. So it's currently yeah. so nobody knows how it ends. Nobody knows yet. Well, I think everybody but has to die. <laughs> I don't think everybody <laughs> will die. I, I thought last last uh, last the last one the the attack of the Night King. Uh, I thought like yeah okay come on everybody's gonna <laughs> die and then they're gonna have a cut and it's the end. <laughs> and then, no, oh. actually the it was a turning point. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Len the House Lannister. So you always know the, the sentence, a Lannister always pays his debt. But it's not the official, uh, uh, mm, what would they call it? hear me roar. Hear me roar. Lannister, hear me roar. I think they have the line, right? Because it's the line. It's the line. And, and, and Michael has the line as well, right? No. What, what is that? Is it a dragon? Is no. it a dragon? No, that's... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, part of the Royal Varant is, is that. But it's it's an animal, isn't it? It's not on here. It's not so on here. So it's monolithic in, yeah, there in you the go. marketing. This one. No, it's uh, a it's a beer. It's a, it's a lion. It's a lion. Yeah, how's Lannister the lion here? The lion. Um, yeah, But it's a different lion. It fits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the. the lion I have to say, I, I, I do like the Lannisters. Somehow, I do like the the Lannisters, even the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I like the House Lannister. It's just the Lannisters rise to the Iron Throne required years of. Meticulous calculation and tenacity, much like Lagavulin's rise to legendary status, which has been over 200 years in the making. Lagavulin is a roaring single malt that leaves its intense smoky flavor on your palate with every sip. The golden liquid recalls the Lannister's riches and is best served neat or with a single drop of water. A few comments. Uh, Lagavulin had its 200th anniversary few years ago and then the uh, 2016 I think and then the eight years old came out mm -hmm. and that one has a little bit more of ABV I think it's 48 something and uh, the typical like of in 16 years of age and the distillers edition which I tasted lately uh, they have 43 percent and uh, so now they increased it to 46 in this bottling so you get less than the eight-year-old, but you get more than the uh, 16 years of age. And uh, well, in the past, there was the sentence to all those classic models of Scotland, uh, which are represented a lot in the uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, bottlings had their particular own strength. Uh, Craig and Moore, 50, like a Woolin, 53, uh, 43. Uh, so this is a break and now we have a series from uh, eight years nine years this 12 years cast strength every year another uh, bottling then the 16 years of age uh, then the distillers edition 16 years of age and after that there is from time to time a 21 a 25 year old 
on the market, which is typically cash strength. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. What to say to uh, the uh, yeah to this range of whiskies? Yeah, sit here, we drink, and we know things. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You do not have to, to taste a lot here because there are a few whiskies uh, coming up soon. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm. It's a typical Lagavulin. Definitely. So from the smell, I couldn't say whether it's a 16-year-old or this 9-year-old. Mm. It's from my point of view, more than the eight-year-old. The eight-year-old was from the, the smokiness a little weaker. Mm -hmm. mm. And this is this ham, smoky ham. Mm. Yeah, definitely a smoky ham. But it's a bit more fruity than the 16-year-old, mm -hmm. but it, it parallels the 16-year-old quite significantly. Mm -hmm. And there's the sea, mm -hmm. the seashore. This sea tang, mm. definitely like a woolen. Mm. Yeah, cheers, cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Incredibly sweet, really, definitely. Fruity, sweet, and then there's some. Some oakiness upcoming. The the smoke is really present, uh, not on the uh, top of my mouth, but on my tongue. Definitely shows a, a lot of smokiness, but in parallel a lot of sweetness. And the aftertaste is coming a little drier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very very fruity. A bit more fresh fruity than the sixteen. But that when you swallow it, it comes in with the smoke, the ham, a little bit of sea, mm, some darker flavors. But the, the start is quite quite fresh fruity. Mm, not as fresh fruity as you expect from a mm. bourbon or something <laughs> like that, bourbon cask finish uh, or something like that. But compared to the 16, I would say this a bit more fresh. Definitely rich and full and massive and mm. smoky. And this ham note. Yeah. Mm. I don't think I, mm. in a blind tasting it would be hard to differentiate between the 16 and this one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. A little bit younger. But therefore it's a bit more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you have to pay for HBO. Mm, for the so Castly the, Rock. Yeah. <laughs> they they gave the uh, the name of the series, they gave the publicity, and that was the reason why probably they have been overrun with their uh, schedule or their uh, allocations for bottling. So yeah, it was a bit of a mm -hmm. the first miscalculation from their their mm -hmm. side. And, and even the the most interesting bottles, they came out in very few cases. Mm -hmm. so in the start, they were quite rare, but now they will be More widely available. available. Yep. Yeah. I think America in America they are even better available than in Europe. Europe we had a huge trouble with mm. shortages of, of some of these whiskies. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Mm. Keep watching. We're gonna taste the other ones as well. Mm -hmm. And see you next time. <laughs>